Hello students! It's now time to learn and explore life with technology and livelihood education. I'm your TLE buddy, Teacher Jeff, and welcome to DepEd TV. Filipinos are known worldwide as one of the most active users of different social media platforms. We commonly use them for communication and entertainment. When the COVID-19 pandemic started to hit our country, many of us looked for ways on how to make an extra income through available technologies like the internet. This introduced us to online selling. Selling different food items and products has become an option for many Filipinos to earn money while staying at home. This proves how resourceful and creative we are. Can you think of any product that you can sell online? Today, I will help you produce a simple product like pastillas. Let us recall some of the qualities of an ideal entrepreneur as adapted from the Entrepreneur's Handbook by the Canadian agency Private Enterprise Accelerated Resources Linkages and Philippine Small and Medium Business Development Foundation. We will use the acronym SCURCHI to easily identify these qualities. Strategist. An entrepreneur is a careful planner. He or she sets long-term goals and executes a well-thought strategy in order to achieve them. Knowledgeable. An entrepreneur is well-trained and possesses information and understanding of concepts necessary to run a business venture. Industrious. An entrepreneur must display hard work and perseverance in the face of challenges. Skills are utilized to diligently carry out tasks or make goods. Risk Taker An entrepreneur takes calculated risk and knows how to manage opportunities with market realities. He or she takes on risk, anticipating business profitability and chances of success. Confident An entrepreneur feels or shows certainty as a point of modeling success. Honest. An entrepreneur does not engage in deceptive or fraudulent acts. He or she must display sincerity. And lastly, innovative. An entrepreneur must have the ability to envision future needs or demands and create new opportunities, products, and services to meet such demands. These are the qualities that you must have to become an effective entrepreneur. Let us now make ourselves familiar with the words that we will encounter in this episode. Can you guess these unfamiliar words? Arrange the given letters to identify the given word. Are you ready? This word means to make, create, manufacture, or cultivate. And the first word is produce. This word means something that is manufactured following a process or grown and nurtured in order to be sold for a profit. And the second word is product. This word is something that is shown or presented to the public to help sell a product or to make an announcement. And the third word is advertisement. This word is the activity of making, buying, or selling goods or providing services in exchange for money. Our fourth word is business. This word is the amount of money that is needed to pay for or buy something. Our fifth word is expenses. This word is the money that is made in a business or to get money from something. Our last word is profit. Remember these words so that it will be easier for you to fully understand our lesson for today. Get yourself learning module or a piece of paper and a pen and answer the questions that will be shown on the screen. Choose the correct answer from the box and write it on your answer sheet. The words that are in capital letters will serve as your clue for each number. You will be given 5 seconds for each item to write your answer. Number 1. It refers to a person who starts a business and is willing to risk loss in order to make money. Number 2. 
The correct answer is entrepreneur. Number two, it refers to a person who buys food and other merchandises. The correct answer is buyer. Number three, it is a place where a variety of merchandise is sold. The correct answer is store. Number four, it refers to a person who sells merchandise to buyers. The correct answer is seller. Number five, it refers to products bought by the buyer and sold by the seller. Goods is the correct answer. So, what's your score? If you got five, great job! You're on the right track. If not, that's okay. I will guide you all throughout the episode so you can learn more. Are you thinking of putting up your own business someday? What business are you going to start? What are your hobbies and interests? You may start a business with what you enjoy the most. Who knows, one day, you might become one of the most successful entrepreneurs. If you don't have the skill to produce your own product, you can either buy the item from its primary source where it is cheaper or buy it in bulk or in wholesale. Then repack it in smaller quantities for retailing. Food is a product that is easy to make. We can also sell it to our relatives and friends. You can make our own versions of simple products like roasted peanuts, varieties of cookies and cakes, pastillas, and other candies. You can also resell different accessories like bracelets, necklaces, and headbands, which are popular among students in schools. An entrepreneur is a person who meets the needs of other people by fulfilling their demands for products and services. Some economists would also consider an entrepreneur as someone with the ability to innovate or improve on certain products or services to come up with something more sellable. An entrepreneur plays an important role in the society because he or she contributes to the economic development by helping build industries. Like any other career or profession, one must possess the necessary knowledge and skills as well as the correct attitude, values, and characteristics in order to be successful in this field. Now you might be asking, how can I become an entrepreneur? Here are some tips on deciding on the type of business to get into. You can start with a hobby or interest. Identify the things or food that you love the most. This will help you enjoy while doing your own business. Do some research and investigation. Know the latest trends and the products or services that are in demand in your community. Observe people and their food choices. Ask your relatives and friends about what they like. Be creative and improve your chosen product. Check the existing products in the local market. Conduct a survey to avoid duplication. This will help you stand out among other entrepreneurs. Products that are always in demand are food items. Filipinos love to eat and we always enjoy experimenting with flavors. We love sweets, but we also want to be healthy. Start small before you think of producing bigger quantities. There is nothing wrong with small businesses. It will help you identify how you can develop your business. Start by using the available equipment to you and set your targets depending on the demand of your product. A small amount of money will still give you profit. Produce something that can offer or sell to your friends, schoolmates, or in your community. As a result of your study and investigation, you must have identified the products that your relatives or friends need. Talk to them about how your product can help them, don't just make money through them. Can you think of other saleable items during this pandemic? We can resell face masks and face shields to make it more accessible to our community. You can also sell food products within your community. Here are the steps that will guide you in making your own simple product. Number one, design your product. Make a drawing or sketch of the product that you have in mind. Number two, decide on the materials to be used. Unleash your creativity by choosing the right materials for your product. Number three, create the product. Make the initial version of the product. 
Number four, evaluate the first version and make the necessary adjustments or changes. You may also ask suggestions from relatives and friends for improvements. Number five, determine the price of your product. Compute for the cost incurred in making the product. Let us all watch a close friend of mine who will give us an example of a simple product. Hi kids! Welcome to K4J and this is our first ever vlog. And ang tinuro po sa atin ngayon ni Teacher Jeff ay eh, kailangan makapag-produce tayo ng simple product. At dahil dyan, naisipan ko na gumawa tayo ng pastillas. Number one, kasi lahat ng mga ingredients sa kailangan natin ay eh, nasa bahay natin. And another thing, hindi nyo kailangan gumamit ng apoy para sa activity na ito. Before we proceed with the procedure na kailangan nating sundin sa paggawa ng pastillas, kailangan muna natin siguraduhin na malinis ang ating paligid, lalong-lalo na ang ating mga kamay. Kailangan natin mag-spend ng 20 seconds or kumanta ng dalawang happy birthday song kapag naguhugas tayo ng kamay. You have to make sure that everything is clean and sanitized. Para naman sa ating mga ingredients, kailangan natin ng 2 cups powdered milk. Sunod naman, ang 3 fourth cups ng condensed milk. And para sa ating coating, gagamit tayo ng white sugar. Para sa ating mga kitchen tools, ang kailangan natin ay spoon, Kailangan natin ng measuring spoon, spatula, and of course, kailangan din natin ng kitchen gloves. So kids, excited na ba kayong gumawa ng first ever pastillas para sa inyong mga loved ones? Okay, so tuturuan ko kayo. Ang una natin kailangan gawin ay kuhanin ang ating 2 cups na powdered milk. Paghahaluin lang natin ang powdered milk at condensed milk. Siguraduhin natin na mix natin evenly ang ating powdered milk at ang ating condensed milk. Okay kids, so ngayon na-mix na natin evenly ang ating mga ingredients. Kaya naman, isi-set aside muna natin ito for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, kailangan naman natin ngayon magsuot ng disposable kitchen gloves para makagawa na tayo ng pastillas balls. Kukuhanin natin ang ating mixture at gagamitin natin ang ating measuring spoon para magawa natin ng pantay-pantay ang ating mga pastillas or evenly distributed. So, kukuha lang tayo ng ating pastillas mixture and kailangan i-roll natin siya into balls. So, ito yung isa sa mga example ng pastillas natin. At ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay i-roll natin siya sa ating sugar. Ito na ang isa sa mga finished product natin. Okay kids, so ngayon natapos na natin ang ating pastillas balls. Kaya naman, transfer na natin ito sa isang container. Ito na ang ating finished product. But before that, papaalala ko lang sa inyo ng paggawa ng pastillas ay pwede maging bonding ninyo ni Mommy and Daddy. At dahil malapit na rin ang Christmas, pwede kayo magdagdag ng iba't ibang food colorings katulad ng green at red para pumasok sa Christmas theme ang inyong pastillas. Maaari din kayong gumawa ng mga stickers katulad neto para maging label ng ating finished product. Ito na ngayon ang ating homemade pastillas. Thank you very much, Kuya Jepoy. It is such a big help for our students starting their pastillas business. Here are some other tips in making a simple product. You have to remember to keep your costs down while maintaining the quality of your product. Make sure to canvas and find out 
where you can source your materials and supplies in the best price available. If you decide to produce and sell food items, buy your ingredients from a store or market that sells fresh products. Remember that the way a product is presented to the customer affects its saleability. Food items must be attractively packaged. It should also be protected from microorganisms that can cause spoilage. Like other expensive items, packaging must be of good quality and cost efficient. Lastly, don't forget to put the expiration date of your product. Whenever we browse our social media accounts, we might be encountering hashtag support local, the same with what Kuya Jepoy did in his vlog. It is an online information drive to support goods and products which are originally created and manufactured here in the Philippines. We need to support the Filipino entrepreneurs, buy their products to produce jobs, and this will help our country to recover as one economically. How can we hashtag support local? Number one, like and share the post about their business. Number two, if you need a product, buy it from the seller by sending him or her a message. Number three, create a short review about their product. You may highlight the strengths. Send them a private message for the things that needed to be improved. And always remember, think before you click. Now let us recall the procedures in making pastillas. Arrange the steps by writing numbers 1 to 4 before each statement. You have 60 seconds to answer. Roll in sugar. Arrange in decorative or colorful boxes for gift giving or selling. Sift powdered milk. Knead and set aside for 5 to 10 minutes to rest before shaping into small balls or small cylinders. Mix and blend well the powdered milk with condensed milk. Let us check your work. Here are the answers. 4, 1, 3, and 2. Don't forget these steps so you can create your own homemade pastillas. Can you now imagine the type of business that you like? Have you identified what type of entrepreneur you're going to be someday? Since you are not yet at the right age, please ask for your parent or guardian's approval whenever you plan to start a business. Let them guide you whether you will be selling food products like pastillas and yema or accessories like bracelets and necklaces. This will ensure your safety and make you successful someday. Remember, number one, an entrepreneur is a person who meets the needs of other people by fulfilling their demands for products and services. Number two, an entrepreneur must not just have the knowledge and skill but also the proper values and attitude. Number three, there will always be a demand for products that will satisfy a person's basic needs such as food, clothing, and shelter. Number four, to ensure profitability, one should keep the costs down but still maintain quality. Tips in deciding on type of business to get into. Number one, start with a hobby or interest. Number two, do some research and investigation. Number three, observe people and their food choices. Number four, Check existing products in the local market. Number five, products that are always in demand are food items. Number six, start small before you think of producing bigger quantities. Number seven, produce something that you can offer or sell to your friends and schoolmates or in your community. A good business is being able to meet a demand at a certain time and place. You can start selling different school supplies like papers, pencils, and other accessories to make it accessible within your community. 
you can also sell food products like your own version of pastillas. Steps in making a simple product. Number one, design your product. Number two, decide what materials to use. Number three, create the product. Number four, evaluate the first version and make the necessary adjustments or changes. Number five, determine the price of your product. And number six, advertise your product. Never stop learning so you can gain the knowledge and skills that will lead you to become a successful entrepreneur. For your homework, talk to your parent or guardian and ask them about the simple products that you can start selling online or in your community. Let them guide you with your business plan. I hope that you have learned a lot today. You will become a successful entrepreneur someday. Just have faith in God and ask Him to direct your ways according to His plans. This has been your TLE buddy, Teacher Jeff, saying, Be future ready with TLE. And don't forget our hashtag, hashtag SkillsMosagotCo and hashtag DepEdTV. Thank you.